Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to do a DIY custom orthotics uh, insole with a proper um, gel onto the legs so that, you know, fat food people or high arch people will have some support at the arches here. Uh, Normal insoles that you bought off the shelf uh, sometimes do have some uh, arches that will support you but they are not customized to your legs and sometimes it does not uh, offer enough for flat foot or high arches. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make it with uh, a multi-purpose uh, silicone uh, sealant that will dry up in 48 hours. Most silicon saloon does have a vinegar smell so do take note about this. First step is to take this out from the packaging. Okay, let's see. This bucket, you can buy any cheap insoles to modify, to customize. I got this, uh, this is a relatively expensive one. It's uh, about 24 bucks. Okay, so let me measure the size. Oh, I do not need to cut anymore. This is just nice. Next is to prepare your caulking gun uh, on, on this uh, silicone cylinder. When you first purchase this caulking gun, it appears to be like this. And in order to install the silicone cylinder, you need to press on this little uh, catch here. Press on it and then pull it backwards in order to install the silicone cylinder and then press a few times to put the, 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 the thing in place and there you go oops and there you go okay here it goes some tape to secure the string wrap because the string wrap seems to be a little bit dated I need to make it secure, so I use a tape to tape it down. Okay, so I got another platform ready. Show the next one is to prepare the insoles. And to add on to this uh, custom insoles is I'm going to put uh, two little piece of manac onto the silicone so that uh, you have some additional blood flows uh, in, you know, added to my leg. So the manac put in place at the side of this silicone. And press in. Okay, let me push the silicone back a little bit so you can have 
a little bit of uh, silicone onto the soles. Okay, spread the plastic a little bit tighter so that you will have a very nice silicone. Don't step too much onto the arches. Okay, so and then kind of push the silicone to the edge so that later you can peel this off. And stretch this a little bit so that it will not be wrinkled. Alright, and uh, open up the this uh, ziplock bag to have some air flow in and wait for 48 hours and it should be done. This little arches. If you have high arches, you can put more silicone so that you have some more support. So, time to make the other one. And this is a result of the DIY customs uh, insoles that will support your arches. Uh, for my arches, it's a little bit low because I'm a flat foot. You can see that you know it's very very soft to touch. It's uh, actually very very bouncy. Uh, if you can see it, very very nice. It's firm, and it will not go anywhere. Uh, for this area, try, try not to put it. Uh, I just try try to test whether or not I can put some manex inside here but um, once my leg are a little bit shifted downwards it, it's not very comfortable so I do not recommend people putting uh, the, the support here in between the toes <laughs> uh, so the arch is uh, pretty comfortable I've tried it a couple of times and uh, it's very very nice um, I, I, I did this because uh, when I ride my electric cycle sometimes my mid soles uh, will feel very painful so I try and test whether this will work to support my mid soles, and it does support the mid soles. So it does not feel so sore after like less than two kilometer. <laughs> right. So basically, that's it for this video. And I hope you like this video. For people who have a problem with flat feet, this might be a cheap solution to solve your flat feet problem. Right. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.